Excuse me. Um, sorry, I, I was going to shoot at the range today. I actually have the range reserved for the next three hours so I could be inspired for my new creation. Uh, I didn't know you could reserve the range. I drove 45 minutes to get here. Well, it's fine by me if you'd like to do your target practice on that side of the range. Are you sure? Of course. Thanks, man. No harm, no foul. I am so sorry about that. I am just not, I'm not used to someone being downrange. It won't happen again. Oh, what? Oh! I did not mean, I am so sorry. That just, it just went off. I'm... It's okay. I'll just, I'll just make that an angry cloud in the sky coming with rain. That never happened. That's okay. Life is about, you know, how you handle stuff like this. Accidents happen and you just gotta, just gotta, gotta roll with it. It's fine. Man, uh, again, so sorry. This is usually not an issue for me. Okay. That's good. Let me get my brush. If you could just be a little more careful. Ah! Whoa, I think I just ruined that. I'm sorry. Okay, that's it, you stinky scoundrel. Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. My name is Matt and I'm glad that you are here. Today, this video is going to be interesting. Uh, I have a brand new gun. It is an H&K UMP. You can tell by the way that it is. No need to read anything on it. It is an actual H&K UMP and it uh, is super awesome. Full auto for sure. Just kidding. Uh, it's actually a Tommy belt. You can't get UMPs uh, very easily at all. They're pretty much impossible to get. But this is a Tommy built tactical. UMP clone and so it's a company that takes them they uh, they build all this stuff and make it into a UMP which is super cool because now in America you can own this which is the same as a UMP this is classified as a pistol so it does have a pistol brace on the back and it has a selector lever just like the UMP it goes from safe to fire to full out but mine's mine's just it's a semi but it does it does go down there. What does it actually do down there? It's just semi-auto, but it, it does fire in the full auto position. Semi-auto. So anyway, this is a gun that, if you've played any video game ever, you've ran a UMP. It's so cool. And generally, they are chambered in 45 ACP. I, however, thought, you know what I want? Not 45 ACP. I want something a little hotter. So we got mine chambered in 10 millimeter. Let me show you the difference here. This brass round here is a 45 ACP, a big fat boy. This one is a 10 millimeter. So basically a 10 millimeter is the size of a 40 cal, but it's in a much taller case. So it's going super fast. 10 millimeters fly down range. And so you can put more in the mag. I actually don't, I haven't ever loaded this mag up with more than like one round. So I don't know how many it can hold. We're gonna find out, but the mag is marked for 40 Smith and Wesson. This is not a 40 Smith & Wesson gun. Mine is chambered in 10 mil, which is super sick. And then there's a meme that has been going around for probably a decade. Not really a meme, I guess, back then. There weren't memes. It was just a picture. Someone had put a Lego man head inside a 40 cal case and it fits perfectly. And everyone's been telling me forever, Matt, try it and see if it works. And I thought, that's silly because 40 cals are not as fast as 10 millimeters. So what if, we just took Lego heads, put them in a 10 millimeter case, and fired them. And we're gonna do that out of my brand new gun? This is dumb. But you know what? You didn't come to Demolition Ranch to see something smart. I've actually fired this one once before just because I was bored and I liked this gun and I was like, I just want to shoot it off camera. So I did fire it, uh, fired like four rounds through it, and it worked great. But never loaded this mag all the way up, so I just did. It does have a hold open and it's slappable. 
Uh, this thing held 31 rounds plus one in the chamber. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Okay, I'm shooting high. There we go, figured it out. No bolt hole open, but there's 31 rounds, like butter. I was actually thinking about it, like if I wanted to make this my bump in the night gun, that would be a pretty good one because fairly compact, you got your folding stock so you could walk through in tight quarters, but if you need that support there, you're good to go. Plus, you have 31 rounds, which a Glock with a Glock 18 magazine holds 33 rounds, but it's only wimpy nine millimeter not 10 millimeter, the Lord's caliber. I'm a fan. Not sure if this is going to be my bump in the night gun. Maybe truck gun though? I mean like, God, that'd be sweet. I need to put an optic on this thing. All right, you know what though? This is a video game gun. We need to do a video game worthy cut of it. Editor, hit that cut. <laughs> Was fun. All right, check out what we have now. This is the coolest thing we've ever done on Demos Ranch. So you guys may remember, man, I got my new shirt all dirty. We had custom shotgun shells and we loaded a bunch of random things in shotgun shells and this was actually the very first shirt we ever sold except instead of this brass 10 millimeter with Lego heads, we had shotgun shells on it and we sold tons of those shirts way back when Demolish Ranch was a cute little baby channel. And so now we decided to bring back kind of the old school feel, but with the new 10 millimeter loaded up with Lego heads. They are, as you can see, a totally perfect fit. And we have our case of 10 millimeter Lego heads right here that we all custom loaded. And I actually did fire it. Uh, we haven't fired it out of this yet, but we fired one to make sure it works out of my other 10 millimeter, which is this super awesome gun, basically exactly the same as UMP. This is my high point carbine. Yes, there's two flashlights on. Actually, we should totally put one of these flashlights on the UMP. Ow, that's really hard. So it looks all tactical. Right there, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, now we have a tactical UMP. We actually fired this one. It's pretty neat because it did look like a normal Lego head, but you can see the rifling on it. So this thing, did fire out, it did spin, so we had this little Lego head going So now we're gonna try a UMP, and then we're gonna test and see how much power these Lego heads have. Is this just a joke, or is this real life, and you can actually use these to defend you, your home, and your family. Demolition Ranch is here to save you. Let's see how these load in here. Oh, this is gonna be the greatest thing I've ever done. So these probably won't, I assume these are gonna be like shotgun shells, which the shotgun shells, when you loaded them with something light, it didn't work very well. So it probably will not cycle. It probably will jam every single shot, but will it fire out and will it fire out with some power? If this actually cycles, we have one in the chamber. That was the quietest little thing ever. I didn't see anything come out. Let's see. That is a spent shell. We have another one in there. I mean, it's firing them fast enough that like, I can't see it. Let me try to, oh yeah, I see, it hit the, all right, it went low. Let's see if it hit that thing. Oh, that one went high. Not the most accurate of things. Let's get a little closer. I need a reload. 
I'm determined to hit the target. That was a hit, right? Yeah, very not impressive, but we're shooting an armored steel. Let's see if we can shoot something a little softer and see what these bad boys can do. We're going at a cupcake. What happened? I don't think anything happened. You're gonna get it, cupcake. Oh, I bet. I'm so I need to aim above it. There we go. <laughs> Entry, exit, straight through the cupcake. And you can see there's a bunch of unburnt powder on here. That's what happens to shotgun shells too. On the light loads, it shoots it out of the chamber so fast that it doesn't have time to burn all that powder. So you don't get as much boom because it just throws it all out the end. Let's see what else it can go through though. Cupcake, not a problem. How about a little cheesy cheese? <laughs> wow! That's still in there, right? This was the one that we already shot. It's okay guys, I'm a surgeon. Done this plenty of times with Lego heads that have been embedded in dogs and cats. Aha! There she is, right there. This is, uh, I don't know if y'all know, but ballistics gel is exactly the same consistency as Velveeta cheese. That's why we use it all the time for our scientific tests. There's the head, not deformed. Went about four and a half inches into the cheese, so that's how you know it's very, very deadly round. So what else we can shoot? This one actually might bounce. Firing. Whoa! <laughs> how cool is that? Dude, that was crazy. That was a really weak pop. I don't know, there was not much powder burning in that one at all. It just basically used the primer to fire that thing out. Stuck right in the hand. Would not have broken a bone though. This thing's made to be kind of like a human bone. So I think it's uh, I think safe to say if the, only the primer goes off, you're good to go. Let's see what else we can shoot. How about some pork ribs? Meat, obviously, with rib bones in there. So we're gonna see if it goes Deep enough if you shot the bad guy, hit him in the ribs, would he keep coming at you? Probably. Fire! Oh, that went in. It didn't go through. You can see where it pushed though. I mean, that's pretty telling right there. You can't see it. There is a Lego head embedded in the meat right there. So if you shot a bad guy, it wouldn't go like into his chest and incapacitate him but he definitely would leave there with a Lego head stuck into his body, which, you know, is embarrassing to say the least. My plan was to shoot all those targets over there and it was gonna be glorious, but unfortunately, the Lego men are pissed that I beheaded all of their brothers to make this video. And they said that I can't shoot this without going through them. Not a problem, because I still got tons more of their brothers' heads to shoot it. How do I got cheese on my gun? Oh. My brand new gun, covered in cheese. Let's see what we can do. Oh, we're too close. <laughs> that got me. Okay, we're just gonna back up a little bit. Not because I'm scared. Totally not because I'm scared. Or anything bounce back and hit me. Oh, what happened? We got our first Lego head 10 millimeter jam too. We should have quit while we were ahead on this video. Okay. Somebody needs a breaking bottle. Oh yeah. Oh no. We messed up. Good to go. This is really bad for the gun, I'm sure. Whoo! Man guys. The battle was a raging, and I, I took some, some wounds, so I fought well, and I, I think we won. Uh, I actually did hit a few of the Lego men, which I did not think I could hit from this far back, shooting the most inaccurate rounds known to man.
I actually didn't know if it would bust these glass ones, but a few of them went straight through the glass. We stuck in this cantaloupe pretty good. Um, I don't know if we ever hit, oh yeah, we did right there. Straight into the pineapple, did not go out. We did behead another one of these guys. He fought valiantly, but overall he lost his life. And I'm sorry, uh, AK guy, we um, destroyed some of your brethren over here. This, the Tommy built tactical UMP, pretty sick. Uh, probably will never load Lego heads in it again. Need to go home and clean it really well now because I'm sure it has tons of unburnt powder in it, but pretty awesome. And I, uh, we actually, we bought this, but I just found out they also have some other cool guns. Uh, so we might have to get another one because this thing ran flawlessly. Uh, when I was shooting normal ammo, it ran great. And uh, Lego heads, not so much. So that's something they might want to work on, but otherwise, good. They also have some other guns though. Uh, ever heard of a G36? <laughs> it's pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching this totally dumb episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs>